Uh, I'm not just trying to blow this out of proportion, but if this video ever gets recovered and say I pass away or something, um, I want this video to be published. Uh, just the last days of, of, uh, of me. And I might just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you think I'm exaggerating, but you never know what it's gonna happen in life. And this might be the time. I got some ideas. Yeah, I always say I have a lot of ideas. I never said any was good. Oh yeah, look at that love juice. Who cares how you make a fire? As long as it's a fire! You, you damn, damn eagle, eagle scouts! scouts. <laughs> Ladies, I know why you wear skirts. Feels a little breezy. I like it. Them guys in Scotland, that men, the manly men, that think they uh, they look like pansies or whatever, they have life figured out, folks. Yes, if I can wear this all day long, I would. But Jay's coming out today, so he's gonna spoil the uh, the breeziness. But uh, that's that's fine. This uh, this this is very very comfortable. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Carry on, carry on. Find some business. Oh, good morning, everyone. Drinking my coffee. Uh, just got me a good old bath, a uh, little hole bath. What? You don't put a robe on after you take a shower or a bath? What's wrong with you, folks? I know every time I put one of these on, get a little excited because I'm about to get some good old pillows talk probably just pillows but uh, today I talked to Jay last night well I texted Jay last night Jay uh, the owner of the property says he's going to come out it's a very nice day to come out uh, to do some work around here, so he's going to spruce up uh, the the uh, acreage, and it's very nice of him to text me beforehand instead of just popping up. 
Um, he was just wondering if it would bother me with my video in and all that stuff. I said, we'll work it out. Just get here. Uh, we'll get you on camera again. We can um, have a little chit chat um, and enjoy his company so I don't get cabin fever out here by myself, which I, I probably won't. I, I could talk to myself all, all day long. I, I have the best conversations. Uh, I did forget. I have to tell you, last night... When I ate the Chinese food that's delicious, that's in that pot right there, that I want to have for breakfast. But I probably got to cook y'all breakfast because you're dying for looking at some more food. I forgot to put the asparagus. So I'm going to have to try this tonight maybe or something. But the asparagus, I already know how it tastes like, but I just want to show you on camera so y'all can pretend to know what it tastes like. Uh, but i'm gonna throw the drone up today the batteries were dead last night or yesterday when i was about to do that so i'm gonna do the drone um get some good footage of that around the property uh maybe when jay gets here so i can go ahead and uh fly by him maybe but slept pretty good uh the the um i didn't i was watching some movie i put the title in i think i'll put the title in the bottom screen right now but it's an okay movie. I didn't get done with it because I fell asleep. And that furnace actually worked pretty good with the holes up top extra. Uh, it, the alarm didn't go off in the carbon monoxide detector, so that's a good sign. Um, so I think I'm going to be good for tonight. I'm going to make sure to put some um, kindling in there, uh, some uh, paper to get the, the fire started because I'm not an Eagle Scout, as you can tell. And get some more logs in, in there. Shove some logs in there. Okay. Well, let me get some clothes on. I'm probably losing, losing subscribers. Hello, welcome to breakfast. Uh, I got my handy dandy finger chopper thing right here. Oh, one more, one more, one more. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this. Okay, I'm not bleeding yet, so let's go one more time. This knife. Oh. Okay. Okay. No blood. It's a win-win. I'm gonna have to stop doing that. That's what she said. Okay. Well, got that out the way. We have some good old girthy sausage. Um, use any kind you like, except if you use turkey. If you're trying to watch your health, not like me, but if you're trying to watch your health and calories and such and go with turkey, it's leaner. So you want to add butter to the concoction and you'll have to work that out because I don't know because I use the greasy pork sausage. Uh, so I use that. Um, I'm lactose intolerant, but if you're going to use this, use milk, uh, not almond milk because I don't even know if almonds have teats. I'm not sure how they milk almonds. But, uh, yes, we got milk, and I like the layered Grand Flaky. You can get the butter. Uh, I thought I got the butter, but I did not. But this will work. Uh, this is the original, what I usually use, the, the, the flaky layers. Uh, and I usually don't put onions in here, but if you want, you can put onions and green bell peppers or any, anything you want. I don't care. You can put bacon in there and the sausage. It's, that's up to you. Uh, but I have plenty of onions, so I'm going to use an onion in this as well. Uh, and all-purpose flour. 
two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. It looks like some um, drug enforcement agency guy already kind of came in here and uh, checked and see if this is okay. It did have a hole in it. Uh, okay. Well, let's get to going. This is easy. Just this, two tablespoons, very important, very important. The milk, you want to add a little bit at a time. Add the, add the milk, because I'm going to break this down. I'm going to put this in the pan. I'm going to brown this so I don't have to talk in the video. So, except right here. Uh, I'm going to brown this, get it browned. Throw in two heaping, heaping tablespoons of this flour. Uh, I'm going to stir that around, get that kind of browned a little bit more. Then pour in some milk. I mean, I'll put the onion in, but I'll pour in some milk, maybe a cup and a half, uh, two cups tops, and then wait for it to boil. But stir while, while it's boiling, don't burn everything up, but stir it up a little bit and when it thickens when it cools down a little bit and thickens add a little bit more milk until it gets the uh, consistency that you want because you put too much milk in at first yeah it's just a runny mess so, okay let's get to going and uh before the fire goes out for my whole bath so i'm trying to use the fire for the whole bath and the whole breakfast whole breakfast Oh, wow, look at that. Slight cut, slight cut. Until the fire gets going, I'm gonna do it old rustic style. Nope. Oh wow. 
wash the, wash the utensil off. Well, that's cooking in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open these up. Every time I do this, I think of a triple uh, X video because people jump every time it happens. I'm going to put these on last because I want to definitely pay attention to these so I don't burn the hell out of them. I need indirect heat. So I'm going to uh, try to cook these in there as good as possible. But the bottoms might be diet. There might be diet food on the bottoms to help the people out for the uh, resolution there that you already broke. You don't want to cram the pot. You don't want to cram it in there like that. You want to talk, talk dirty to it a little bit, and uh, it'll it'll go. It'll go. It'll fit. And then, in theory, I'm just going to cover it with this when it gets hot. And hell, you know what? Since this thing here, since this rocket stove actually cooks kind of slow, I think this might be the best thing. And I'm going to start a fire in here. Let's see how it goes. Throw this around one time. Oh, it's still good. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to uh, start this fire. Okay, is it burning up yet? Oh yeah, that's lovely. Now you can break it up a little bit better. This is like the, the simplest, best tasting breakfast that you'll probably ever have. I don't add a lot of salt, just a little bit of salt to this. And crack, a plenty of cracked black pepper. I'm probably gonna do the black pepper here in a second. Eagle Scouts, kiss it, kiss it. Oh yeah, that's the better way to do it. Go help some old ladies across the street. Use some uh, cast iron pot holder deals. Hey folks, this is what you're looking for. A little bit of brown on there, then put the flour in. I do not have a tablespoon, but this is pretty much almost close. So, if you don't know what a heaping tablespoon is, this is approximately a heaping tablespoon. See it heaping? It's not level, okay? Okay. 
Okay. There we go. Had a little party off camera. Kind of. Kind of that much left. I'll put it in another bag because I had a hole in it. That's going to soak in all the grease. So this is the stuff where you need to put the butter in there. Um, I guess you can put the butter in while you're cooking the turkey. But see the bottom? It starts to stick a little bit. So this is the time you got to kind of stir it a lot. And then once all that is incorporated, see it getting caramelized already? Then you put some milk in there. Okay. Just do about that much. And once you see it's boiling right here on the one side, just wait for all that to, to get all the goodness out the bottom of the pan. And you might wanna you might wanna level it a little bit. Might help. There we go. It's already starting to thicken. Let me get you down to my level. Stoop to my level, folks. And you're gonna have to take it off the heat. Once it boils a, a good, you know, a good couple of minutes. Take it off the heat, and then that's when you add the extra milk to just a little bit at a time. Okay. Be right back once I take it off. This right here is going. I don't even want to lift that top, but the fire is going. Pan's hot. I'm just gonna wish, I'm just gonna wish for the best. Okay, we have the fire at the bottom here. It's, it's, it's not like burning, burning hot, but it is uh, going. What I'm gonna do is put the heat from this pan onto this cast iron skillet deal on top to get both sides uh, kinda heated up there. In theory, it should work. And I'll stir this around and show you once it thickens up in a couple minutes. I think this might be good. I might put just a little bit more. I like mine thick. I want mine thick in the back and the front. Here we go. I went ahead and uh, put some uh, some coals on top of this so the top can get done. Because I did check the bottom is getting done without burning right now. Uh, knock on cast iron with a poo shovel. And uh, so I got, the, I got the coals and put it on top of here. And uh, we got some hot embers on top. So it should uh, distribute the heat on the top because when I opened it up, the top wasn't get as done as possible. And you got to burn the bottom to get the top done. I'm not having that today. So I'm going to try this out and see if this works. Okay, next brilliant idea. I took the top off and cleaned this, uh, this grill. This right here, you can cook stuff on. You can actually... Yeah, I have grill marks on meats and stuff, so I uh, clean this off. What's going to happen is, spray this down with some um, extra virgin, never, never touched, extra, extraly not touched, organic olive oil. Spray it down with that. 
Then I'm going to flip this over and hopefully this is not too hot. Uh, let me get a let me get a towel. Oh, those are snow geese. I don't even know if they're called snow geese, but uh, that means it's going to snow, and it's supposed to snow. I think I just heard two inches on Wednesday, so we'll see. Okay. Okay, we got a little little caramel eyes action, uh, but I'm gonna leave it on there like that. Leave the dome on for the heat and take it from there. Okay, be back in another three days and then we're going to eat breakfast. Woo! Woo! That went up my pant leg, up my shirt. Starting hurry the fuck up for 40 hours, 17 minutes. All right, everyone, I'm waiting for the biscuits. Uh, why I did that, I'm sitting here thinking to you guys. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I uh, just wanted to thank you guys again on this video. I want to scroll uh, the people that donated. I want to thank you guys. And I want to also thank the people that actually watch the videos, hit the like button, and share. That's donation as well. I wish uh, more people would do that because I drove... 1200 miles this trip uh, when I get back is gonna be 1200 miles To do videos for you guys when you don't have to move at all not even 12 inches That's what she said Just hit the like button Please I'm not out here farting for no reason. I'm doing it for you Probably screwed that all up Just dismiss that last part But please hit the like button Share the videos. If you like people that like corny, weird people, share the video with them. I mean, if they're weird, they'll probably like this as well. So I want to thank you guys for everything. Um, today is only Tuesday. So we got Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'm leaving Friday. So I think Thursday, I'm going to do the, the no cooking heartily. I'm not going to try to cook a lot of food. I might, who knows? I might have food left. Uh, and uh what else start packing up most of the stuff and bring it to the vehicle maybe thursday and then friday in the morning i won't have as much to pack and, and load in, into the, the vehicle so okay i think my timer's about to go off let's go over there hurry the fuck up 15 seconds remaining Hurry the fuck up. 10 seconds remaining. 5, 3, 2, 1. Hurry the fuck up. 5 seconds over. Okay, let's see if this is good. If, uh, if Jay comes, he can have the, the three and a half on this side. That's not uh, diet food. But the tops are almost done. Let's do two more minutes on top. I don't, I don't care about the top because the, the bottom's already already nice and, and, and golden black. Ready to eat. This is hot, so I'm putting it on top of there. This is still warm, but it's not hot enough to burn the table. Um, we're gonna flip this over. And there you go. Okay. Well, I'm gonna um, plate it up real quick, and then I am, you know what, I'm gonna leave these just in case that uh, Jay wants to eat. I'm gonna leave him the the best ones so here you go I'm going for let's just go for five so I'll leave a couple out 
the sauce because I'm taking a picture and you gotta oh yeah look at that it's gonna stick to your ribs you can't put a little more in it this is the perfect way I like it I do not like to uh, to run it down uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a lot of it okay I'll save him some if he comes but here we go I put a couple like so for the picture. Let me get a picture real quick and I'll be right back with you. Okay. We are set. Hopefully we're recording. Um, I didn't put my hat on yet because it's rude to eat with a hat. So I'm not going to put it on just to take it right back off. Uh, I've, uh, I put pepper in here already and I'm going to taste it first. I know some people, they eat food and they, before they even taste it, they put salt on it. Like you don't even know what it tastes like. Okay, you got a little pepper. Um, I would say if you're an earthling, put a little bit of salt on it, but I'm going to try to lay off the salt because um, I have two challenges to do after I get done with this trip and I don't need to just put extra salt on stuff. But let's cover all these up. And that's why I got extra. She thought I was just getting greedy. Well, it is kind of greedy, but uh, this is still kind of warm, but I'm going to put that away just uh, when he gets here. If he wants to warm it up, he can eat, but this right now, I don't even have to tell you this is good or not, folks. I already know it's good. Well, I mean, I taste a little bit already just to get the seasoning on it, but uh, that rocket stove, I'm going to say, and it did get charred on the bottom because I wanted to make sure the bottom was done before I flipped it so it didn't stick, but I am ADHD. So I was uh, using that kindling splitter um, because I'm gonna need wood tonight. She's never said that. Uh, so I was just doing, trying to be productive. Hands down, the best breakfast you can ever have, except maybe cooking a runny egg on top. This is the best breakfast you can ever even make. I used to go places, my best friend that passed away, Avon and the people he was staying with up near Jefferson City, I think. When I went and cooked this, I used to go places and this is what I used to cook because it's easy to cook and I was drinking at the time. But this is so easy you can be drunk and cook it. And I wouldn't recommend cooking while you're drunk because you might burn the house down. But uh, the... Uh, they used to say, you're always welcome if you come cook that. So if I cook this, they said, I'm always welcome there. You can even add bell peppers to this if I didn't say that earlier. If you want to add black bell peppers, it would probably be, be okay too. You know, leave them stickers on for the fiber. I made some fresh coffee and I didn't put sweet low in this because uh, I thought Jay might be here but when he gets here I'll walk around with him and talk to him for a little while get him on camera first you know and then we'll um, uh, we'll walk and talk and uh, I'm not sure if I get footage out there I might bring my GoPro but this is fresh coffee and I use sweet and low not because I'm trying to lose weight but I just like the taste of it. My, my mom and papa used to have sweet and low on the table in a mug that had a little dents like a golf ball, like it's a, a frosted, like a, uh, a glass mug that's used to keep in a, uh, a lot of them in the freezer so you can just get them out and put ice in them and, and drink. But uh, they had one on the table that had sweet and low in it. And when I drink tea, I don't like sweet tea, especially the um, McDonald's, di I call it diabetes. Uh, because it's tons of sugar. If you get uh, a, a McDonald's tea and you don't like that much sugar, don't say you want half and half. Say you want that and can I get a water cup? Then you got two cups of tea for the price of one. You're welcome. But I like sweet and low. I like the taste of sweet and low in my tea and coffee. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to eat this in peace. Uh, just listen to the wind blowing through my hair. Uh, when I get back, I'm going to cut my hair off. Not all of it, but most of it. Uh, but I just did this because I thought I was going to be out here in the freezing cold, which tonight's going to bottom out.
That's what she said. Well, that's just how weather is. And when I travel along the United States, when I go to Florida, when I go to Oregon, I usually go to McDonald's in the morning to download my footage and maybe edit or answer comments with my computer. And you hear the old people in there drinking coffee um, in the morning always say, Hey, if you want the weather to change, just sit around 10 minutes. Only in Oregon. Only in Florida. Wherever I'm at, it's only that place. And only in St. Louis. Only in Wisconsin. No, it's happening all over, guys. And I bring that up because today is like 65. Then tonight's going to be like 20. Okay? So, yeah, it's uh, it's like that everywhere. Not only where you're at. It just it's happening there because you're there. Okay. Had to say that. Okay. We eat, clean up, get the drone out. Do some flying around and take it from there. So, hurry up for the birds try to eat my food. Okay. If you go camping, let me know what you want to eat. You know what? What do you or do you want me to cook? If you don't go camping at all, you want to see something that I don't make in this series. Try to throw something out there and. Uh, if you say chili, I'm not making chili this time, but I do have a chili video out um, that came out about three weeks ago. Mm. Called the Mississippi Bank Angler Chili. Yeah. It's not your ordinary chili. I was sitting here downloading this footage and uh, speaking of flying, um, there's a couple bees flying around here. Fun fact, if you didn't know, it has to be 50 degrees before you see a bee. So if you know, if you don't have a thermostat with you, you wanted to see if it's 50 degrees or above, if you see a bee, there you go. You're welcome. Take off. Okay, Home point updated. We're going to go um, how I follow the path to the different campsites today. And we're going to uh, take it from there. But that is south, I believe. Maybe north. I don't know. I'm not a Boy Scout. But that is the path. Let's just go ahead and go follow that. It's a little windy today, so the battery's not gonna last a long time. Okay, there is the roundabout. There's my vehicle. And there is almost the most important thing on the property, right there in the center of your screen, which is the Jimmy on the spot. Um, we actually went over here first, that campground there, that is the Han, or Hayen, whatever you want to call it, that's that right there, I'll just zoom in with my fingers, and then after that, we headed this direction, down this path, and I think that's his personal a site when he comes here on kind of your middle left. So we follow this path. We skirted that property there, that campsite of his. Um, then we followed this down till we found the uh, the creek, and I think the creek is right right here. 
or maybe not. Maybe I'm already lost. Let's circle around and see where the creek's at. Did I pass it? Okay, there it is there. The creek's running right down in the middle of your screen. And then I took a little detour uh, later and went on another path, but we'll uh, just show you the screen, the, the, the creek from this angle. Zoom in a little bit. There's the water flowing. Okay, we're still doing good on battery life. So we're gonna go back the way we came. And this drone does go faster, but I have it on the cinema mode. So it's a little smoother. Let's see what we got here. That's the main road. I hear that truck right now going by. Okay. And then I skirted off this direction uh, because I, I had to figure out what the hell was uh, this way. So I went to the birch, the birch forest part right in the middle of your screen right there now, I think if you take this on around take this on around you're gonna you're gonna eventually catch up to where I am on that side and it might be like right yeah it might be right there I think it is but uh we're gonna go back the way that I came though Check out the creek real quick again. Okay, let's uh, go back up. See where we're at first. Okay, there's the road. Okay. I don't want to go back directly where I'm going, where I'm at. Uh, I wanted to follow the path where I actually uh, came. So let's uh, let's do that. Go up just a little bit so I don't hit any trees. Okay. Okay, here is my vehicle. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and go down there and see if all the windows are intact. Probably the best uh, best thing to do about now. Let's let's dodge that tree. Okay. See if all the windows are intact. It looks good to me. Look at them, uh, yeah, look at them websites right there. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back up. Let's go back up. I don't want to hit those trees. And the sun, we're going into the sun, so it's a little bit harder for me to see. I got a, I do have a, uh, I do have an excuse, so.
How do you think I steer this thing? Like playing Tekken? You can't beat me. I hit every button. I'll do track and field. Okay, fall this down. I hear it coming. Hello everyone. Okay, let's go to the grape line. Okay, the grape line is that direction. Miss that tree, and there we go. We're at the site, and I think we saw another one that direction, like a little one right over yonder. So it's uh, that's all of it right now. But if you want to go up pretty far and uh, just see the whole view of the Wisconsin area, you can do that. Put it on the sport mode so it can go faster. We're up to about 300, 300 feet. Let's let's just let's just go 400. Max altitude reached. Okay. Let's. Okay, we got a. We got fields. We have somebody shooting over there. There must not be a good angle. They're shooting a whole lot. Man, I hear it. And it's 400 feet up. I think the wind's blowing it like where I'm at. Let's go straight down. Get you a view where there's no. There we go. Okay, let's come back to me. I'm going the wrong way. I was trying to get out of the sun for you, but got to be in the sun to come back. Okay, enough playing. Okay, let's get our sport mode. Okay, coming in hot. Uh-oh, there's obstacles here. That never stopped me before. Got a string, I gotta I gotta maneuver around. Oh, it's windy. I'm gonna smack it. I'm not even gonna I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. Oh motherfucker. Okay.
Part, party's over. It's not snow. It's not snow. Just these little seedlings from the plants. It's, uh, it's uh, about 60 something degrees out here, folks. It's crazy. It shows 77 on this, but the sun's hitting the uh, temperature gauge, which is probably not that temperature. Um, I am just casting a little tan and uh, wait for Jay to get here. I'm going to go pick up some sticks and such for tonight. It's, I think it's going to get cold, so I'm getting some sticks and getting uh, prepared for that. Uh, then when he gets here, we'll chat with you and then um, probably cook some, cook some dinner later on. So going to play back today and kind of relax and enjoy this wind. I know you hear it. My apologies, but I have nothing to do with the weather. If I did, it would be two foot of snow right now. But uh, maybe we'll get a survival season 6.5. Maybe I'll do a middle season just to try to find some snow, more snow. Because I think snow's coming on Wednesday. So you're going to get a white Christmas, a very late white Christmas. That's not racist, folks. That's just... Talk about the snow. Hey, before Jay gets here, I thought about um, doing some prepping for later on to eat. I'm not hungry right now, but when you're doing meals, you want to prep and see what you need for the future. So, I have some uh, sweet teriyaki marinade in a bag. I think you saw me do this twice. Uh, once was the backpack uh, barbecue grill at uh, Big Oak State Park. Um, then we have some brown sugar bourbon. I think I'm going to put a few steaks in there, uh, maybe all of them, so I need some more juice. So I'm going to go make some sweet brown sugar teriyaki bourbon uh, marinade. It says 30-minute marinade, but I like to do at least the least 12 hours, maybe, maybe 12 hours at least, but I just thought about it now. Um, it's going to be about six hours, but hey, it says 30 minutes. Um, I'm thinking... It should be good. So I did break out some stuff. I don't even know if I'm using it. I was like, you know what? I might garnish it with that. Um, might use some uh, vegetables and get some um, macaroni and cheese. So we'll uh, we'll see. Well, Velveeta cheese. I think macaroni and cheese is something else. But you know what the hell I mean. So just doing that for now and going to hit the hit the loop and find some sticks and you don't need to see that you know what sticks looks like and you know what not look like i don't look like a stick and sticks don't look like me uh enough said and uh just get an interview again with jay and maybe walk around the property with him again just working out some calories and there was no biscuits and gravy left because he didn't show up yet so if you're late already ate no breakfast all gone so uh, no leftovers for that. I still have the Chinese leftovers uh, that I'll, I'll try to save until Thursday or Friday for breakfast. Um, I'm not going to cook breakfast Friday. I don't even want to cook anything the day I'm leaving. I want everything packed up and ready to go probably that night uh, so I can help me uh, get out of here bright and early so I can hit the road back to Paula. I miss Paula very much. Paula, I know you're not watching this, but I miss you. And... Uh, you don't know who Paula is. Paula is my chicken I sleep with. A whole chicken. A whole chicken. Uh, she has two legs, but she can only use one of them. And she had surgery, and she just still can use one of them. And that's all it's going to be. But she lives the best life possible and sleeps with me in the bed every night when I'm there. Uh, but when I leave here Friday, I have a challenge Friday night. Have a challenge Saturday. Then I'll be back Saturday night or Sunday morning to see Paula and download this footage while I hold her for hours and hours and pull an end and uh, get a good night's sleep with her. Might sleep in an extra 30 minutes to an hour, but I know you're tired of hearing me about it, talking about a chicken, but she means a lot to me, so screw you. All right, folks, we're back with Jay. He came to, to do some more sprucing up on the property. Uh, I really appreciate him because he doesn't just uh, creep up on you. He lets you know he's coming. Uh, but uh, hopefully, maybe uh, if you guys want me back here in a couple of years, uh, give me a comment. Say, hey, what about that Wisconsin thing? Because I, I do like it. I do like it here. It's real peaceful. Uh, you uh, last time we was here, you didn't get to eat. You still didn't get to eat. Yeah, no, I, I might no, do pork no. steaks. You I, eat you're pork sending steaks. me pictures and it looks great. I got pork steaks. I'm gonna cook later if you're All still right. gonna be here. Okay, so maybe yeah. maybe we can see him again. So maybe he'll eat some pork steaks. Uh, but uh, 
But yeah, I ate good today and I need to get some water by the creek. So I thought this would be a good place. Uh, I really, I scouted the, the, the property yesterday and went, went around to most of the places. And uh, he, uh, we, we got to talking before this and he told me a little bit about the property and such. And I want you guys to know from his, uh, his mouth instead of mine, because I screw things up all the time. So, so what's the what's the, the the general? What do you like most about the the, the area? And, and and just whatever you want to talk about, you know. Just well, you know, Tr Cricket Ranch. I I would say really it is mostly uh, if you you could best be described as a, um, a nature preserve that you can stay at. Okay. You know, so we keep it real natural and. Um, this is actually, this used to be a farm until about the mid 1990s. We farmed it, the, the 40 acres up there. Um, this was actually all prairie um, and meadow, but it's, it's really a testament to how uh, nature recovers if we just kind of leave it alone. So we're a, we're a lot about ecology and, and environmental friendliness here. Um, don't preach it, just kind of practice it. And, um, so, it, you know, I liken it to a state park or a national park. It's actually a lot like that, just on a much smaller scale. Yeah. You know how you have this really small percentage of camping or, or family area, rec, rec, recreational areas that are meant for it. It's kind of like that. So all of our sites are real far apart. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. And I did tell them this morning, I think, that this is a really good spot because you say it's like a state park, but I think it's a little better in an aspect of if it snows a lot, they're closing. Like you can't get there, they're closed the roads. Right. This, you're still open. So, and if it's snowing a lot, usually I guess people here might not be praying for snow because they probably see it all the time, but there's people like me that want some snow. So, me to drive eight hours to not to know like Wally World and you know. Sorry, folks, we're closed for two weeks to clean and repair America's favorite family fun park. What? <laughs> oh, That's disappointing. Yeah, so <clears throat> oh, you'll yeah. be open and probably a chance that you're going to have a site here. And I didn't know this, but I already knew that $50 extra, if you don't have a tent, you get the circle tent. We talked about that. But I think he's going to be doing a, like, kind of like a... Just bring yourself, you know, like you have a tent, right. you have everything set up when you just rent it out. Um, so some people that do like to camp for two days, you know, two days out the year, you know, just like two trips out the year. They don't want to buy thousands of dollars worth of items just to go camping. And then you got to store it all. Right. So then you can just, hey, you know what, Jay? Um, I just want to camp at this site here, this glamp, glamp site. Glamping, it's, it's a its a very new thing. So yeah. we're gonna have one of those sites where everything's at the tent and the bed and um, everything you need is set up for you and you can rent it by night. <clears throat> we rent out, like you said, a um, okay. nice three meter bell tent is, you know, you can kind of piecemeal your own package together. Okay. Um, so there's, you don't have to have all this stuff to come here. You can say it, you know, and when I when it's like $50 for this nice little, you know, bell tent, um, that's for as long as your stay is. It's not per night. Oh, so wow. yeah, it's really about um, <laughs> just me setting it up and taking that, it down. You that know? is a bu so. It's, I didn't even if think. you're here for five nights, okay, it's fifty bucks. If you're here for one night, it's fifty bucks. I yes. think I think when I talked about it, I actually messed up. But in my brain, I was thinking fifty dollars extra a night. But I said fifty dollars, so actually it worked out that I didn't have to edit that. <laughs> so I was thinking, oh, I didn't say fifty night. That's a deal. Well, yeah, I mean, that it's not, uh, the money you kind of pay me here is really uh -huh. just helping me uh, improve the, the area for you, too. So, um, you know, okay. I, I don't want to, you know, overdo it. Yeah. I, I just kind of want everybody to be here. Yeah. Well, Jay's um, not lying because off camera, he already told me, he goes, I don't think there's uh, any fishing here right now or, or not much at all. I wouldn't waste your money getting a fishing license. So I'm glad, and I said, you know what, um, I'll, I'll, I'll get one and go fishing. But when I came down here, I was like, ah, I think there might not, it's, it's too low right now. But uh, but I, but he didn't have to tell me that, and I really I, I appreciate his honesty about that. And uh, I think when it gets higher, it'll be a little better fishing, but right now it's not. Uh, but it's good for water to wash up, you know, wash up and everything. So. Yeah, it's nice, it's refreshing um, yeah, in, I took a in drink. the summer. And yeah, it's it's strange. It's usually much higher all the way up here, but we had no snow, and uh, 
So um, it's an odd year. Really Global odd year. warming. <laughs> I don't I know probably how you can trigger some other, uh, I don't yeah, know how trigger really, some people, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and that's that's the other thing is that I, I, I kind of look at this place as an opportunity to, um, you know, dabble in some of the the sciences, the earth sciences. I'm go. I, you read my mind. I'm yeah, gonna ask you know, what I mean, fossils. Not just, not just the the not just environmental science, and we practice those kinds of things here. Don't preach it. We practice it. Yeah. Um, but there's also you know if if you're a, like looking at the stars in our into astrology there's like huge amounts of sky here and as far as like on the west um west side or i'm sorry east side of wisconsin it's one of the darker areas okay so you're, you're kind of right in the middle of where all the lights come from so okay. um looking at the stars great um we've got all kinds of species of animals and you know turkeys and deer and rabbit um, they rabbit. saw a rabbit Rabbits. already if they saw that video if yeah. not go back and check yesterday because i saw a rabbit it saw me before i saw it you know don't don't saw chip too right i didn't see chip yet you didn't see chip? no no i was looking i was i, I was like well, i was gonna wait for i threw a piece of bread out you know and it's still there and like uh oh. i guess chip ain't around right now no. I wonder where he is uh, but, but uh, uh yeah i mean well, there's all kinds of different species of birds if you, uh, probably hundreds um, where's the fossils like you say near the rocks maybe yeah like, what, i want to know the rock wall is that a rock wall with the barbed wire fence over it where where what is that for not wouldn't be for goats because goats can get through that mm. but what is no. that for boundary what, what is it, this land was cleared for farmland about 150 years ago late about 1870. um it was cleared for farmland and because of the just it's got a really unique geological location. We're on the edge of uh, the Niagara Escarpment, which the Kettle Moraine Forest is right over here, which okay. is great for hiking and everything. And this is, um, first of all, the Niagara Escarpment is from 450 million years ago when there, this was all ocean. And this was like right on the edge of an ocean that was you know, okay. receding and, and regaining ground. Um, and then glaciers come came through here, you know, almost 450 million years later. So when they came to farm this, the combination of those things let huge rocks all over this flat land. They had to clear that stuff. They just pushed it up to the edges and they mm -hmm. made the fields into squares. And I imagine that had some sort of, you know, boundary or some sort of, they've separated it by crop or whatever, yeah. but they were clearing the fields and pushing them up you know, by hand, I imagine. Yeah, I was like, <coughs> what else the did hell they made have? that wall? Yeah, I was like, so, that had takes, I think a little bit more, uh, I would say more than, I'm not the brightest person in the world, but my brain works a little differently about stuff like that. Like, where did that come from? How did I get there? And stuff like that, I, yeah. I think like that. And it's like, that's what I was, when I was walking, I'm like, that's a lot of rocks to somebody to make a wall like that. Right, yeah, and it's, um, it's, it must have taken an enormous amount of effort. And of course, each year the frost heaves up more. So if you were yeah. farming, still farming this, you would still need Keep to clear all those, them. but you do it with the tractor, yeah. you know? But that's why all these, are, you know, I call them rock walls, but they're really just long, narrow rock piles. There's probably okay. two miles of it on, this, on our property mm. here. Okay. And because of all those kind of different geological things I was talking about with this being, you know, ancient sea. And we find fossils in these rock walls all the time. It's it, one it's of my favorite houses. Morally, the walls, most mostly the walls where you're finding them. Yeah, that's what, where what, I find What's the them. best, what's the, the most unique thing maybe that you might have found? I've, as you could talk about. I've found <laughs> um, a really, large crinoid stem and crinoids were you know this is the um the ordovician time period 450 million years ago give or take <clears throat> and they were kind of they were called sea lilies and they're still oh. there's um they still kind of exist as starfish okay and they'd have this long stem and then this kind of flower like thing that would kind of just grab microorganisms out of the water Okay. And it was an animal, not a plant, but it, it stayed stationary. Yeah. <laughs> and they're nor they were normally, you know, this big, small. You normally find smaller, maybe a, a, a centimeter wide, circular chunks. So I found a nice big stem that was probably an inch and a half in diameter um, in the rock. 
I've found quite a few, like uh, mostly seashells. Yeah. They show you all kinds of them. There's you find a lot of seashells, trilobites um, are a little scarce here, but I have found a few. Okay. So you got um, a whole little collection at the house? Oh or? yeah, I've okay. got I've got some real nice, and I collect them. I actually collect them up here at my campsite. You got pictures of them though? Um, not not yet. Not the ones okay. at home. Okay. Okay. Um, but I was gonna say, I'll, if 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 I am to get them before this video comes out, maybe I'll put some in the video. I can do home. that. I can send you pictures. Yeah. Of them. When you're talking about it, maybe I can put some in there. Yeah. I don't. Uh, yeah, I'd be glad to glad to do okay. that. But there's uh, quite a few. There's this other one that's it's really interesting. I ha I know where it is. It looks like uh, like a front motorcycle tire going through, you know, like mud. Yeah. But it's in like a granite like rock. Oh wow. And it it resembles this. I couldn't even tell you the name of it, but it's and it's. A giant slug that really only theoretically exists. Cause I saw the, the I saw pictures of those before. Have you? Yeah. Where they it looks yeah. like a motorcycle tire track, yeah. but these things the, the theory is they're big, giant slugs. Giant slugs. All just uh, which just soft tissue, so there would be no other evidence of them. But yeah. so, but it's really I found one of the, I think one of those. I don't know what else it could be. Yeah. Um, so I, I found some interesting things and just barely scratched the surface of these piles. Any uh, so, Bigfoot tracks or anything? No, nothing, nothing like that. No. I, uh, I don't believe in them. Uh, you, do you? It's okay. I, 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 I don't have a reason to disbelieve. Okay. I'm, a, I'm the, if I got to see it, to just, you know, believe it, and then you are, hey, I didn't see it, but it, it might be out there. Uh, so that's why sure. I, I'll say about the Bigfoot, you know. And I, I don't have a problem either way if people believe it. Or, if they believe in aliens and don't believe in aliens, believe in people walking around like clones and I don't, I don't know. You know, that's just my, you know, like there's a whole universe. I don't know. You know, that's a lot of, a lot of universe. Yeah. So, Magic is just science we don't yet understand, right? Yeah. So people do not get hurt with stuff I say because it's just because if I just like America Whip, that don't mean everybody has to. Like pineapples don't, do pineapples go on pizza? Yes, you're gonna well, say yes. Well, I, I, not my favorite, but I, I can. You uh, can deal so with I it. can eat it. I can, if it's double meat to pineapple, because they put double pineapple to meat, and I don't like that. That's if a it's much, double, huh? if it's like ham, bacon, all, sausage, and then a little pineapple, it'll be delicious. But they don't <laughs> do that. Okay, we got all off the tangent. I got all. I got all off the tangent. That's what I do because I'm ADHD, but. Um, you know what? I want to go back before we get off here. You said something about hiking near here. Yeah. Right. How far is that? Because maybe tomorrow, you know what? Maybe I won't do it tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be 24 degrees. Hey, that would be a good day to do it. You know what? Maybe a GoPro and not bring that big camera. Maybe I'm, I might just stay, stay with me and all the links to this trip. Because the first day is going to be me getting here. Friday, Saturday. That's day one. And then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'll probably end it Thursday and not do one Friday of me leaving. Or I guess I could put the Friday on the Thursday, I don't know. But it'll be about six or seven videos. But all these video links will be in the descriptions. Uh, the links to uh, this location, Hip Camp, uh, all that stuff will be in the descriptions. So if you miss a video, just look in the descriptions. And if the video is, is, if you try to click the link and the video link does not work, that means it's just not out yet. Hold your horses. Okay, I, I put if I'm edit if I edit it and it's in, and I put the link and I put it in there. I, I put like a parenthesis saying, "Hey, if the link doesn't work, that just means it's not out yet." But they can always go to my website at DougGarbageDisposalStore.com or outside UnsupervisedStore.com. Go to events and all the the, the videos that's going to be uh, the dates and times. That's but the videos coming out. It'll show you what date and time is coming out, but that link will not work until that date and time. That's when it gets released. So. Hopefully you followed all that, but uh, I do want to thank Jay for coming out. Uh, is there the anything? hiking. Okay. You're asking about where, where they hike from here, or like, where they can hike yeah. from here. And of course we have some trails here and we're expanding those all the time. But from um, just five minutes west of here is the Northern Union of the Kettle Moraine Forest. Uh -huh. And it's got all kinds of beautiful scenery and hiking trails. And um, the the jewel, I guess, of it would be Parnell Tower, which uh -huh. is just five minutes from here, and it's a 
observatory tower, open observatory tower. You can climb up, I, I forget how tall, maybe 100 feet um, above. Kind of, it's like a, a, a knoll, you know, one of the highest points. Okay. Um, that you can see all the way to Lake Michigan from here, which is 30 oh, wow. miles, something, really? 25, 30 miles. Ooh. So it's quite a, it's a 360 degree view above the canopy of the trees. And you can it's gonna see- It's going to be pretty cold up there. It, it, if it's, it gets windy. Today is 70 something, tomorrow's 24 highs and low is 14. Only in Wisconsin. But they're saying that in Florida too, only in Florida, only in wherever you're at. I've heard it. But uh, it's, uh, I don't know, I I'm thinking, what about this property hiking? Can I go on a trail to go somewhere outside of these campgrounds? Or Yeah, we're kind of landlocked by farm farm fields. Okay. You know, um, well, I was just to wondering, get right from here, I mean, you know, you can, you can walk anywhere you want, but uh, yeah, it's, we're kind of landlocked and can't really get other places. Uh, so if I just go through the trees some kind of way, they're not going to find these trees. It's like, I'm just saying, because I don't want to, I just don't want to, I want to kind of, I would rather do it in the springtime so I can see flowers, mushrooms and stuff like that. Right, but yep. right now it's like trees and you can probably find some animals, but uh, I don't know. We'll it's see. a lot easier to get through it right oh, yeah. this time of year yeah. too, because uh, wow, usually everything is you know i, I like to I, I operate kind of like you know disney has three things that stand out to me you know like they're super clean yeah they give you shade wherever you go and um they hide like their machinery and all the oh, things yeah. that, so that like, illusion they, yeah. they, the, the illusion is don't they got an underneath you know, that does all yeah, that yeah they got all that yeah. they got a whole subterranean thing and stuff but i kind of operating those principles here where I, I hide, it, it takes machinery, you know, but I want those things to be hidden so it doesn't, you know, kind of wreck what you're looking at. But this time of year, it's really hard because there's no yeah. bushes and leaves and trees and stuff, but, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty limited anyway. Okay. I was just, because I didn't want to go into another hiking thing if I could do something right now here, but I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure if I want to go 24 mm. degrees hiking somewhere. I might just try to save some uh calories and eat more calories you know you know eskimos i think they eat like blubber like well blubber soup like i used to watch a lot of discovery channel yeah and uh they, yeah they eat a lot of fatty like real fat like seal blubber uh, i don't know if i'm eating seal blubber uh tomorrow but i got plenty of food i got beef stew man because i was going to do the stew when it gets cold oh. so i have that witch brew yes. pot so yes. i got carrots and i got uh, the potatoes i got all kind of stuff to put in there but t t tonight um, I might be eating alone, unless Jay's going to be here. I might be a couple, few hours maybe. I might do a pork steak with macaroni and cheese, maybe some um, mashed potatoes, and I'll figure something, maybe something else out. I have plenty of food. Okay. I'm sticking around. For that. <laughs> I'll stick okay. around. And I'm already marinated it in some um, sweet teriyaki, but I mixed it with some brown sugar bourbon. So it's a uh, sweet brown sugar teriyaki bourbon. Hmm. I just put both of them together, wow. but I've marinated in the back. They got a bag. You ever buy those? Yeah. 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 They take, I like they the sweet teriyaki really good. Yeah. So I got three of them marinating right now. I'm going to marinate them another couple hours to get to cooking. Uh, so I really appreciate Jay coming out. And uh, we're going to talk and walk a little bit, maybe go get some fossils. And maybe I'll bring my GoPro along and you can, we can go fossil hunting um, together. But, uh, okay, let's, let's get that going. I got to get this water from the creek so we get some work done. So talk to you later. Okay, folks, here's the, uh, the walls I was talking about. And here's a, here's a, so you can kind of find, there's a certain color of rock that really kind of, you can find a lot of it, it's white. Okay. And I found a, you know, a big concentration of a few, of them here. And there's stuff with, you know, old coral, like here. And from this big piece, yeah, some of these are have cool stuff, but I don't know what these are. I find a lot That's of herpes. Kind of, That's herpes. That might be herpes. <laughs> That's uh, 460 million year old herpes. Got like what's this right here? Coral and stuff. See right there. There's something that was uh, I think that was a cavity. Something. Uh, look, something's right here. See that? Just me? 
Uh, I'm like standing right in the yeah, freaking big sure. side. I just made a. I, I no, think no, I, I mean it's. Oh, okay. Disturbing. It doesn't matter. That's the thing. Is it doesn't. This stuff. Well, doesn't, I'm very disturbing. I just. What the hell is this? Yeah, it's a bunch of coral and stuff. That's. Uh, okay. All, there was no, you know, there was all the animals um, that existed. It's like this is the Ordovician time period is really some of the earliest um, complex life. So you have seashells and little. These are like teeth. Like, what is that? Am I just seeing shit? Is that, I'm no, not on drugs or nothing. You, no, you certainly could be seeing something like that. Although that would be something more from, uh, more likely from uh, ice age. Okay. Because you find, do we got any snakes around these parts? The, yeah, but there, there's no, probably nothing poisonous. Okay. I know Mississippi have five of them. And I think four of them had pointy, pointy heads. I try to, I try to get a, the lowdown of what the hell's out, out where I'm going. And this cold weather, usually snakes aren't out. Like if they are, they're really, really sluggish. Okay yeah, guys, we're, we're gonna get to digging a little bit and talking and um, we'll get back to you later. But we got more rocks by our site. Maybe I can dig some around there later. But I do got to get to cooking by the hour. So we're gonna be uh, doing that because I keep my figure. Yeah, there's all kinds, uh, I mean, what? There's no, there was no um, predators at the time. So everything, or no scavengers, nobody to clean up the dead. You know, so a lot of the stuff is just went to the bottom of an ocean. And Stayed there, huh? Bottom collecting. So I've got some big, almost panels like this size that are sitting in kind of like the turnaround area where your your parts there. There's some there, and it's just covered with shells. Here, this is, this is kind of cool. Tablet. Coral, I think it's called. There. A tablature coral. Look at this one, guys. You can get this for a low price of $100 plus shipping. No low balling. <laughs> No, I'm just joking, guys. This is uh, this is a part of a coral. What sea was this again? Um, boy, I don't know what the name of the sea was. No, but what? it was it was an inland sea that was that actually it's what the reason the big salt mines there are there is below Michigan. It's like a camel toe, like a camel toe, camel's toe. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, I had to. And this one, see, yeah, it's got a bunch of uh, like shells of. Uh, yeah, look at that. They're all over. Look at that. There's like a, yeah, you know, like a starfish kind of thing, like a sand dollar. That's what I was trying to say. You got a special brush or like a pick? I have. Got like, there's a lot of them. Them. like I take. I'll take something home and, and hit it with a couple of different levels mm -hmm. of brushes and um, use like a Dremel tool to chip away some stuff, but. Um, I haven't found anything that I, 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 nothing that you could retire on. Well, no, 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 yeah, no. <laughs> but it, it stuff doesn't, I mean, it kind of doesn't have a lot of scientific value, that's for sure. Okay, where we're finding it, so we can't really age it properly, so. But it's just it's really neat. I mean. Okay, folks, we got uh, a purple onion. It's not red, it's purple. Don't know why they call them red, but here is an orange bell pepper. We got just a just a few uh, potatoes, and I already got the marinated. Uh, this is sweet sh brown sugar teriyaki bourbon because I mix them together. I got three pork steaks in there, and maybe some crispy onions just to make it look good with some Hawaiian. I'm not gonna dance for you, but Hawaiian uh, King Hawaiian rolls. So let's uh, let's get this party started. You didn't know what the end of this is for it's for the little eyeballs things i don't care about them but i guess so i'm gonna try to 
Be a little bit neater today. Jerry's going to test my food out. He's going to spit it out if he don't like it. And uh, he's going to tell you the truth because that's what this, this channel's about. Let's save as much onion as possible. I don't sell hope anymore, so I don't have any money. Go. I'm going to shave these really thin. And leave my flesh out of here. We already got meat. This one don't want to cooperate. Forget it. Oh, whoa, that was a close call. Okay, if you guys don't know how to fillet a bell pepper, I'm going to show you how to fillet it. This is the only honest tip I gave you all, all trip. You never want to use that. You can use some of this. It's a little fleshy. You know what? Forget it. Hey guys, we're going to put a little bit of canola oil in the pan. A little bit more. It's already kind of getting runny, so it's already hot. I'm going to do something um, a little bit most of you guys probably would not use, but this is everything bagel, and I use this because it has a lot of different spices in there kind of like an Italian um, thing but it's not Italian it's just a lot of spices in one so I'm gonna put that in the potatoes the onions and the bell pepper mixture we're gonna get that going you gotta make sure to keep stirring this because the potatoes take a long time to cook and you're gonna burn it aka caramelized aka diet food because you burn the calories off if you burn it and after that cooks down a little bit, I'll probably add a little bit of water and put a lid on it so it will uh, get softer on me. I've never said that my whole life. Okay. There we go. Put another, another log under there. Not try to stir the ashes up. We're going to try to get less ashes as possible. As, ashes folks ashes less ashes as possible because we have guests okay. here we go the steak's not going to take that long to cook put that right on that fire get the other pan hot I'm still going to put a little bit of a little bit of oil on here Got some sizzling going on. Got some heat down here about to get going. It's going to be probably a lot of fire here in a minute. So I'm going to have to hurry up and do what I got to do. I'm going to go ahead and heat this water up. 
And then once I heat up, you know, eight minutes, eight to 10 minutes, I want a little bit more al dente on this because once it stays in the pot, it cooks a little bit longer. So I don't, I don't want it all mushy. Guys, I don't know much in life, but I'm fat, so I know about food. You can put a little salt in here so they don't stick, but I like to put a little bit of oil, so oil and water, you know, and, and that helps out better without putting a lot of salt because this packet is full of salt. So let's not add salt to your diet. Then that's why you can't wear your rings and your spouse thinks you're cheating on them because you don't have your rings on because you're, you're all bloated from all the salt. You're welcome. I just saved your relationship. Okay, just put a little liquid on here, but you see this is this is hot. Um, I do not want to use this yet. Uh, it's still going to be just a little bit, so I'm going to take it off the heat. Um, this right here, the water is actually. Let me show you. I'll show you better. I can tell you. Yep, the water's hot. It was just boiling just a little bit. I think it's going to bring back to a boil. This right here, I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to try to let it sit without stirring it so it gets uh, crushed on it. And then I can flip it like kind of like a hash brown. Uh, but let me um, go ahead and put a little bit of oil. Put a little bit of oil in there so the shells do not stick. It don't, don't take much. Don't take much. Just a little bit, okay? We got eight minutes for this. Starting hurry the fuck up for eight minutes. Okay, we got about a minute left for the uh, Velveeta shell. So I'm going to go ahead and get the steaks on here. I'm going to get one at a time. And since these are ginormous, there we go. Cook one steak right now. Two, one. Hurry the fuck up, five seconds over. Okay, I drain the water. And all I got to do is just add the uh, the cheese in there. So okay, there we go. Okay, this is getting about done. Leave that sit. I'm gonna turn these steaks. Macaroni and cheese is done. I'll let that sit just like that, and it's gonna evaporate some of the juices off of that, and it'll be nice and ready to go. Put this to the side, get it out the way, put a lid on it. Set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. Okay, off to the main course. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this. Cast iron is really good at holding heat. So once you get it hot, the whole thing kind of heats up. Uh, but I do like to turn it a little bit. But this fine meal will be done here in the next five minutes. And we're gonna get to eating. I'll cook the other two steaks later, uh, but I know he's pressed for time. He has another hour and a half drive back to Green Bay, so I don't want to—I don't want to have to cook it uh, everything. And I'll let him get the bigger piece since I do have more more to go. I, I, I put the side down that actually is not seasoned as much because I don't want it to burn. So I'm going to do that first, and then slap it over, and then put a little bit of juice on top. It's 
some of that little sweet brown sugar teriyaki bourbon. We're almost done. I'm gonna flip it one more time and we'll be good to go. There we go. There's a nice little char. Look at that. That's not called burnt when you go to do the steak, folks. That's a char. Hold on. You didn't get a good there we go. That's a char. Okay, he'll be back soon. He went to the truck to get uh, to make a mayday call. Um, He's just uh, checking up on his wife, making sure she's okay. And uh, we are going to eat. Oh, there we go. Your can you did this can oh, yeah I just opened them all up so uh, they're still kind of warm but I just opened them up so they're they're uh, they're this good stuff to go you can, though, huh? oh yeah I like to jar I jar everything I make nice. Kool-Aid pickles too okay um come over to just the, there you are right there right there okay all right folks we are here and I know we um it, it's it's been it's been a while um, since we talked last because uh, it takes a little while to cook. Um, it's real life, uh, not the magic of TV. Uh, we have a pork steak here with the sweet brown sugar teriyaki bourbon, because uh, I mixed the two. Uh, we got the Velveeta shells. We have potatoes. I want them a little more crisp, but that's where they have to be right now with the purple onions, the orange bell peppers, and we got a Hawaiian roll, and we got a... Just French onions. I put on there for a little little crunch, and uh, you can pass me your cup. And we got we got the fabulous Diet Mountain Dew, uh, Mountain Lightning. So it's 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 close. Okay, it's All right. quicker. And uh, yeah, it's so cheap you can have a second shot. <laughs> okay. Well, I really appreciate them showing showing me around and talking about the uh, the the. Uh, property uh oh we just we didn't mention on camera the name of that the the main stream coming down mm. yeah the, the the main creek is called chambers creek and it's been named that for years but the the feeding creek that were, that joins it yeah. that didn't have a name so i named it garth brook for my dad and yeah my dad's name was garth garth and so it is garth a Stone, brook so, and it's a it's a small brook so it's garth brook you're witty you know? like me yeah, it's strange. You, I don't find too many witty people. <laughs> no, there's I, I, so few of us. <laughs> there's, there's, there's plenty of witty people. I just think I'm, I'm, I'm a little witty, but it's, it's really just, a burden. Yeah, it? yeah. Everybody else just don't get me. You got your um, brand new, yeah, even it's still locked up, um, brand new uh, silverware. I don't know where my silverware. There was some right there. You go. There we go. Okay. This yeah. smells great. Thank you very much. Um, and like I said, I like to cook, folks. I really like to cook as much as I like to eat. So if you watch my other channel, The Garbage Disposal, um, <clears throat> you're going to see on this trip, I already did two uh, challenges. I'll, I'll try to put those in, in the descriptions, too. The two challenges already, I'll do two on the way home. But uh, this right here. It's, a, it's, it's kind of work to do over a fire, but it's, it's rewarding. Mm. Oh, that's good. Thank you. I'm gonna mix my little French onions into my Velveeta because I like that that crunch with it. And I put the bagel. 
the bagel seasoning in the um, everything bagel in with this. It's a little greasy. Sometimes I do put uh, a paper towel to get a little bit more of the grease off, but it's um, probably needs some more salt. I just don't like to salt a lot of stuff because I eat a lot of salt anyway. So uh, I will I will tell you right now that needs some salt. It's just like kind of bland. It is bland. I'm not even lying. You want some seasoning? No, I think no? it's good. Okay. He's being real nice about it. But uh, it is. Uh, I like I like to put a lot of different vegetables in it, you know, and I like different kind of bell peppers and, and there's nice crispiness in there. Yeah, it did turn out to have some little little crispy. I wanted a little bit more like hash brown, like, but it just didn't want to um, harden up on me. I talked dirty to it, and I didn't want to do that in front of Jay. Not 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 that kind of swing set, folks. But uh. Job. And we got these. These are sharp. These are kind of like thicker, um, thicker knives that actually cut through steak. And don't break on you. I'd rather have. These people already know, I think, but I'd rather have a pork steak than a regular steak. Not because I'm cheap. I just like that fattiness, I guess, and I, I, I eat the fat on it too, guys. It's like butter to me, and I know, I know it's probably shunned upon with a lot of people. What do you usually eat with a with a maybe a pork steak? What would you cook with it? Like green beans or green beans, mashed potatoes, with some gravy. <clears throat> I would probably right. do something like this with the with the potato cubes and something on the grill there. Yeah, I like potatoes and onions a lot, and I, I thought about just throwing a bell pepper in there to be different, and um, I have a couple left over. I know these people know, and I, I showed him the sticker, and I did this on my other video with my chili. My, my It's coming out, it came out uh, the 4th of March, and this is probably coming out a few weeks, a few weeks after, but I, I did show... Uh, Jay that the sticker was off the pepper because I cut it up and they know me if it was me I'm throwing it in I'm throwing in the food because I'm weird That mixture of the bourbon and teriyaki was pretty good and I put some Montreal steak at the end Yeah, that's a, I that's put a good combination that Montreal this. steak seasoning. So it, that's that's full of flavor I use that too. You like the Montreal? Yeah yeah, I think I watch. I used to watch a uh, Matt Posey Posa. He's a he does a lot of um, videos with a couple of his dogs. He brings with him. He brings Montreal steak. And he puts it by, probably on everything. Mm -hmm. Well, it's gonna be the. It's gonna be actually a survival season. <coughs> excuse me. For tomorrow, because tomorrow's highest twenty four. Yeah, that's a big difference from today. Yeah, I, I was walking around with a shirt off just to get a little half a tan, you know, try to get that tan going. And I had to put my shirt back on so I can turn red and get sunburned. But uh, yeah, it's it's gonna drop drop off, and I'm gonna have that heater going and the that stove going in that tent. Hopefully, it's not too smoky. If it is, I'll be up pretty much all night, and maybe you'll see some bags under my eyes. But it's supposed to. What I don't like when it like when you're camping, when it rains in the middle of the night, it's supposed to start midnight. Mm. Yeah, so I might be woke up early. <clears throat> Cold rain and sleet, and then an inch or two of snow. So that'll that'll be nice. Yeah, we're just gonna get some gonna cover snow the devils out here. I'll make some snow devils. There we go. Most people call them snow angels, but. <laughs> Not this guy. Oh, well, when it gets cooler out like that, the fire becomes more friendly, mm -hmm. cozy. It does, and I did give him a tip today. When you're taking a bath outside, that water feels really good, but 
you got to keep having hot water or it's going to freeze. You got to need a fire started mm -hmm. before you do that so you can get by the fire. Because it's just like washing your car in the freeze and your door shut, shut closed there because it froze. Well, I think you got lucky with the weather. You got the nice, warm kind of stuff for a few days, and I'm um, just going to yeah, it's, 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 challenge you. That's what I wanted the whole time, but this weather here, to me, it makes it worse for everybody because it, it picks you up and then it drops you. So it's like, right. And I told people, mm -hmm. it's not over, people. Believe me, when you see this video, it might be snowing the day you see this video in the end of March. So... You never know. Now, is there anything else you want to say on camera before we shut this off? or Because I'll let you try these off camera. I already know they're good. Yeah, so. no, I mean. Mm. Okay. Well, let's let's just go ahead. We're going to go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I just wanted to thank you for oh. coming and, and sharing your grub with me. And, right. And uh, letting me gab on about my place here. Don't worry. If you come back again, you know, hey, I got more food Thursday. If you come back, just let me know and we'll be. We'll cool. eat again. Cool. My head's stew tomorrow, though, so you might accidentally stop by. I don't know. Well, I might actually. You know, I've got bring your wife. tournament tomorrow. Bring your wife so. eat stew. You want yeah. some beef stew? Okay. That is, that is good camping food, that's for sure. All right. All right. Well, guys, I'll see you in a bit. I got stuff to do here, then clean this up, then I'll talk to you uh, later on. All right, guys, I'm about to head on in to the tent. I got the light on because I've been putting stuff in there. It's going to be uh, 24 degrees or so when I wake up. Uh, so that's probably the highest it'll be. It can be down to 14. So the highest is 24 tomorrow, low is 14. Uh, putting everything away and put my coffee into the cooler because the cooler is going to be warmer than outside. Uh, so hopefully the stuff don't freeze. I uh, have everything under the tarps. Uh, and I'm about to listen to the weather for tomorrow for about 10 minutes. And then all these barking spiders um, with bad breath. And I'm going to sit by the fire a little bit. So, but I will see you guys in the morning. Um, had an eventful day. I really appreciate Jay for coming out. Hopefully his, uh, his uh, wife didn't mind him staying this late. Um, she ordered pizza. I wasn't to cook her a pork steak. But uh, I think she, he said he should probably been way full on the pizza already. But uh, maybe she can come out tomorrow or the next day. I'm pretty sure. You know what? Uh, I want to I want to meet his wife, but I really don't want to meet her that bad for her to drag her out into 24 to 14 degree weather. So um, hopefully that did not come out the wrong way. But maybe the next visit or Thursday that I can meet her. Uh, I really do appreciate her letting Jay come out and play. Uh, so good night guys. Uh, I want to scroll uh, on the screen again the donations of you guys helping me uh, do this survival season trip. So let's uh, let's sit by the fire, roll that uh, donations and listen to the weather. The Milwaukee, Wisconsin climate summary for this evening as of 4 p.m. February 27th, 2024. Today's high temperature of 74 degrees occurred at 3.59 p.m. This high was 36 degrees above the normal high of 38. The high breaks the previous record of 65 degrees which was set in 1976. Today's low temperature of 52 degrees occurred at 2.48 a.m. This low was 28 degrees above the normal low of 24. The record low is minus 12 degrees which was set in 1879. No precipitation fell today which leaves the monthly total at 0.66 inches. This is 0.96 inches below the normal amount of 1.62 inches for February. The total precipitation for the season since December 1st still stands at 6.20 inches, which is 0.91 inches above normal. The total precipitation for the year is still 3.98 inches, which is 0.57 inches above normal. No snow fell today, which brings the monthly total to 2.3 inches. The total snowfall for the season since December 1st still stands at 18.9 inches and the total snowfall since July 1st still is 23.3 inches. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 39 degrees and the normal low is 24. 
The record high for tomorrow is 61, which occurred in 2016, and the record low is minus 12, which occurred in 1884. Sunset tonight is at 5.38 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.30 a.m. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for the near shore waters from Sheboygan, Wisconsin to Windsor Harbor, Illinois. For tonight, northwest gales and high waves are expected tonight. Thunderstorms are likely from Milwaukee southward this evening, a couple of which may reach severe levels. And now the extended outlook for the period Wednesday through Tuesday, northwest gales and high waves will continue into Wednesday afternoon. Small craft advisory conditions for high winds and waves may develop once again Thursday through Friday. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for the open waters of Lake Michigan. For tonight, patch and fall.